Jojo Siwa and Lil Tay are at the center of the latest celebrity feud. Over the last week, the Dance Moms alum and the Canadian rapper have been busy throwing shade at each other online. And it seems the beef all started April 12th when Lil Tay responded to an ex post sharing a clip of her Sucker for Green music video, where a user compared her to Jojo. The 16 year old clapped back, writing, Wish I didn't just find out who that is. I wrote Sucker for Green myself. Didn't buy the song or hire a ghostwriter. Please don't mention me and her in the same sentence. The influencer who went viral late last year for a death hoax then doubles down on her disdain for the karma singer in another ex post saying, I didn't know who she was, but after some research, I found out she associates with pedophiles, buys her songs and doesn't write her music. And I take my music very seriously and don't want to be compared to frauds. E! News has reached out to reps for JoJo for comment, but has not yet heard back. The So You Think You Can Dance judge, whose latest single Karma was originally recorded by Brit Smith in 2012, may have subtly responded to Lil Tay's claims. Several fan accounts are sharing screenshots showing JoJo allegedly liked a post that read, There's really no comparison between JoJo and Lil Tay anyway. JoJo Siwa has a career. Lil Tay is just a meme, and a pathetic one at that. And while JoJo's like history on X no longer shows the posts, Lil Tay then added fuel to the fire by directly calling her out. Tagging the dancer in an April 16th X post writing, At It's JoJo Siwa, you're a scary ass b If you have something to say about me, say it, and this time, don't delete your comment or unlike shady tweets. Don't let those paid YouTube views and botted Spotify streams get to your head, Madonna from Dollar Tree ass b since releasing Karma, the 20-year-old has promoted the track by launching a quote rebrand of herself, which she's compared to Miley Cyrus's Bangers era. However, fans don't appear to be on board, as the original previously unreleased version of the song recorded by Brit in 2012 has outcharted JoJo's single on iTunes. And despite backlash surrounding her allegedly re-recording the track, JoJo maintains it's her song. Telling TMZ in a statement April 12th, I didn't steal anything. There's no such thing as stealing. What happens is people write songs and then they don't do anything with them. Then a few years later, it makes sense for another artist.